So, some quick thoughts on the whole idea of making the world a better place and encouraging people to do good. I've been listening to this, uh, actually watching this YouTube series called Money Revealed. Very, very good series. It's free right now, but only for a very limited time, and then they're going to start charging, which I think is perfectly fine. Hello, I'm a capitalist. But I've been trying to catch whatever episodes I can afford to watch for free, because free is great sometimes. Um, and uh, he's interviewing uh, a, a guy by the last name of Bomgar, who started this business from scratch and grew it to like uh, to be worth over $100 million. And he talked about how that when he sold the company he had two partners and what he had, he and his partners decided to do was actually cut all the employees in on the value of the sale so basically when they started hiring people they gave him stock options and some form of uh, ownership and he said he wanted to approach the employees like part owners in part because he wanted them to act like part owners. He wanted them to produce like part owners. He wanted them to take the ownership that owners, only owners would do. Um, and he said this stemmed from his Christian values. He's, it stemmed from the fact that he had, uh, he was a Christian and his partners were Christians and they wanted to do something in a way that was, uh, that aligned with his biblical principles, his biblical values. I thought all that sounded really good. It got me just thinking though, um, in our society, there's a tendency to want to take one form of good. For instance, this gentleman who started this hugely successful company and then he sold it. And when he sold it, all of his employees basically became richer. Some to the tune of several tens of thousands, others to the tune of even more. And we have a tendency to see acts of good like that and then automatically think, well, it should always be done that way. Everyone should do this particular form of good. And you know, I was thinking and I've thought about this in the past, so now I'm recording my thoughts in part, about how hu the human tendency is to want to basically show off our goodness. And as a part of wanting to show off our goodness, it leads to things like what, we, what we've heard about in the news, uh, this whole virtue signaling thing, where we take a form of good that we do or that someone we look, look up to does, and then we immediately want to emulate, imitate, and then put that burden on other people as an obligation. You too should be doing this particular form of good. Now, as a capitalist, um, I saw the benefit to what he was doing. There were certain nuances there that I could appreciate, um, just the value overall. But as a Christian, I know that you can't obligate people to forms of good that are not specifically prescribed in Scripture or specifically illustrated in core principles in Scripture. Now, I know that this, this, you know, one of the implications of what I'm saying, you know, spills over into matters of interpretation, and that's very important because if you interpret the Scriptures to be, say, for instance, socialistic in its thrust, especially when it comes to Jesus and his teachings to the disciples and how the first church acted out its love toward one another, then you're going to use that as a lens, so to speak, to um, then uh, call other people to apply their themselves in certain ways. But if I believe your, your view, your interpretation of how to understand scripture is more accurate, you're not going to lay those kinds of burdens on other people. You may feel a personal obligation, but you're not going to then consequently obligate other people. It's great to do good, and as many forms of good as you are inclined to do by your own personal mix of values as informed by prescription in Scripture. Prescription. As informed by what is commanded and prescribed in Scripture. However, we have to be careful not to cross the line between that and forcing those obligations on other people. And I will confess that when I was a much younger man, I tended to do that quite a lot. So I speak from some experience and some empathy for those of you who may be wrestling against that tendency or perhaps not wrestling, just never realized it until now. So I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. God bless, peace, love, and soul.